Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the first video on my channel here. And really, I just wanted to make a channel where I do different programming, coding tutorials, or tips and tricks, or anything that I find interesting that I come across and I learn personally, and that I think others might benefit from. Um, I'm an expert by no means when it comes to programming, but I'm constantly trying to learn new things. And I figured, you know, this channel is actually going to be more, I think, and what I aspire it to be, of a community rather than just me speaking to you and trying to teach you things that I learned along the way. Uh, pretty much just us going together and helping each other, and I think that's one of the most beneficial ways to learn. There are a lot of YouTube channels out there that do a lot of tutorials, and they could be hours long, and I don't think I can sit through one of those entirely. I just don't have the attention span, and I think a lot of people are in the same boat. And I don't like being talked to constantly, right? I like to converse and share thoughts and that kind of stuff. So I think having like a community, uh, which I hope, you know, like I said, I aspire this channel to be, will be very beneficial for some people. And so, yeah, like I said, I'm no expert, but I want to share kind of what I learned and what I know along the way. So um, this first tutorial, we're actually going to do a little C sharp. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Um, and if not, if you already know C sharp or if you don't care, then this, this probably isn't a video for you. Uh, so first things first, I want to show you guys Visual Studio, uh, not Visual Studio Code. I think that's what this icon's for, just Visual Studio, which looks like this icon. It's really an IDE, which is just basically a way for you to type out your code and run it. So in order to download Visual Studio, which is what I'll be using for anything C-sharp related, uh, you just simply type in Visual Studio into Google. You can hit Downloads here, and the community one is free. Uh, if you get the professional or enterprise, you can see it's a 90-day trial Yeah, for both. Um, you might be able to get that professional if you go to college somewhere and they give you like a free key or something like that but the community is just free entirely that's the one I have I have the 2019 so this is the most current one Visual Studio Code we might use also on this channel that's more for like HTML and, and um, Python and other things that really you don't run um, through the ID so anyway uh, let's go ahead and if you haven't already feel free to download the community Visual Studio and what we're gonna do today actually I'm just gonna do a really basic you know first video tutorial and I found this website uh, you can see my, my name up here my username I found this website about two weeks ago and it's called hacker rank and really it's just a way to get good practice and kind of learn other programming languages so I started with the actually you can do the 30 days of code um, with any language that you desire. So if you don't want to do C sharp and you want to try PHP or I think C++ is on here. There's a lot. Uh, feel free to do that as well. But I'm going to do C sharp for these uh, tutorials or these videos. So feel free to follow along with that. So what I'm actually going to do, I find this hard to read. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to copy all this and throw it into Visual Studio just so we get used to using it at least and run it there before I submit it on this website. Okay, so um, the objective of this, of this is to read an input and write output. Uh, that's all we're going to learn today is just how to read in some input from the user. So if I type in something, we're going to read that and then we're going to spit something out to the user. We're going to tell them something. Um, so let's go ahead and Visual Studio after you download it and open it. You can hit, whoa, you can hit create a new project here. That's what I'll end up doing. And I'm just going to do console app.net core. And there's also the .net framework console app. I actually will just go with that. It really doesn't matter between the two for us because we're not going to really release this uh, application or anything. We're just going to run stuff and test it out. So I'm just going to do .NET Framework and I'm just going to call this like testing or something like that. And go ahead and hit create and it'll create our environment for us. Okay, so this is what we have. This is just the basic, you know, whatever it creates for us. So we can go ahead and write our code in this main function here or main method. Um, so let's go ahead and bring up 
what they have for us. So I'm just going to go ahead, Control A, which is uh, highlights everything, and then Control C to just copy everything. Okay, so now we have all of the code that they gave us in this. I'm just going to go real quickly and see what it is that they want us to do. And by the way, feel free to follow along. Uh, create a profile on HackerRank. It's completely free, and you can go ahead and submit these with me if you would like to uh, while you're at it. So what we're going to do is you must save a line of input from standard in to a variable, print hello world on a single line, and finally print the value of your variable on a second line. Um, so we're going to print out hello world, then we're also going to print out whatever the user gives to us on a new line. Pretty simple, okay? A uh, single line of text denoting input stream. So they're going to give us input string, I'm sorry. They're going to give us a string of input, and that's what we are to spit out at the end. Okay. So here's what we have so far. We have a string which is just a collection of characters, so it could be one word, it could be a whole sentence, um, and they just created a string called input string. Okay, so if I wanted to set input string equal to something, I would simply just do this. I'd set equals and then uh, double quotes. Uh, you don't want to use single quotes, that's only for characters. And I could put like hello, or something like that, if I wanted to set equal to something. But here we're just simply creating the string and not really setting it equal to anything yet on this line at least we're just creating it okay so and then you see in the next line it's going to read in a line of input from standard in and it's going to save it in the input string so we created this string we called it input string and then we're going to set whatever the user writes into us into input string that's what we're going to save it to so if I type in hello when it asks me to, it's going to save that in input string. And let's actually, let's go ahead and make sure that's true. So I put a breakpoint right here. What that means is when the code runs and it gets to this point, it's just going to stop and pause. So we can go ahead and check all of our variables. And you'll see what I mean here. So let's go ahead and hit start after we set that breakpoint. Uh, you just put the breakpoint, you see this little grayish line. It's, it's a little different color than this part right here. You set it right here. We'll go ahead and hit start, and it'll run this code. Uh, you can see nothing happens. But what it's wanting us to do, it's wanting us to type in something. Right? It's wanting to take in what we have and set input string equal to that. So if I type in hello, and I hit enter, you can see it paused here. Because this is now where the code is currently being run at. And now we have input string, and if we hover over it, we can see that it's equal to hello now. Before it wasn't equal to anything. But now that we typed it in and we did console.readline and we hit enter, it set hello as input string. Okay? So let's go ahead and hit continue now. And you can see nothing happened. And you might be thinking, well, this says console write line and then hello world. And what that means is it'll spit that out onto the console. But why didn't we see anything? Well, it did spit it out, but it was just so fast. And then the program realized that this is the end. So it just closed the program. So it did read it out, but we just couldn't see it because it just happened so quickly. So if we want to, we can do console. And I'll just hit tab just to autocomplete it. And then dot read line again. And I'm not going to set anything equal to this. Um, I'm just going to put console.read line. And you'll see why. I notice I took away the breakpoint, so now it's just going to uh, it's going to read in whatever we set input string to, and then it's going to read out "Hello World." All right. Let's go ahead and hit start. Let's type in something again. It really doesn't matter because we're not going to end up seeing what it is that we wrote, at least for now. So we hit enter. We can see that "Hello World" is now being displayed, and we have enough time to read it. And we have all of the time in the world until we hit enter because that's what this console read line is. It helps pause it, if you will, uh, for us to be able to read what's above it. So if I hit enter now, it'll just all disappear. It'll close. See, um, there you go. So now we can see what is actually going on. So now what they want us to do is they want us to read out whatever the user typed 
and we entered into input string. So when I put hello, we want to be able to write that out. So we're going to do something very similar to this console.write line. And instead of literally writing hello world, we're just going to write out input string. And you'll see what I mean here. So let's do console.write line. Difference between write and write line, write line writes a whole new line and then goes to the next line. It ends the line at the very end. Write doesn't end the line. Uh, and so we have console.write line and then we can go ahead and put input string. And notice we're not using quotes here because we're not literally typing out input string. If I were to put quotes, you'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and just show it. So I think it's easier when you can see what's going on uh, rather than trying to explain it. And then at the very end I'm just going to do console.readline just so we can read it without it disappearing again. Let's go ahead and start. Let's type in hello again. Hit enter. We can see hello world which is what we expected and then input string. The reason it's reading out input string instead of what we stored in input string is because we stored it in double quotes. So it's literally going to read out input string, not the value of it. So notice what happens when we don't give the quotes. All right, we take those quotes away and now it'll read the value. So if I put hello, I'll put hello world and then whatever I enter, hello. Just to make sure, I'll put something else. Something else. There you go. Pretty neat. So that's all we have to do for this exercise. Um, this just helps you get familiar with how to declare variables. So we declared a string, simply just naming the type and then whatever name we gave it. If I wanted to uh, call this something else, right? We named it input string. But let's say I wanted to name it um, my string or something. So if I do this, there we go. I just created a new string. Instead of input string, I named it my string. So if we go ahead and copy this, and we paste it here, and we paste it here, because input string is no longer a string, right? We changed it to my string. Now we're setting my string equal to whatever it reads in, and so on and so forth. We can see it works the same way. We just named it differently. So if I put fun, it works the same way. So that's how you go ahead and declare variables, at least strings. And if I wanted to declare an integer, I would type int and, I don't know, um, my int and make it equal to 32. And we'll go through all of the different variables, I'm sure, in the next couple tutorials. But now you just are kind of familiar with how to declare them. So you name the type and then you name it whatever you want. So. Let's make sure we have everything working correctly. I'm pretty sure this is all they want. Uh, and they give you sample input and output as well. So their sample input was welcome to 30 days of code. And then it read out hello world. And then on a new line, welcome to 30 days of code. So instead of flow or fun, like I used before, they're just going to read out this. So I think that all looks good. Let's go ahead and delete this because it's no longer needed since the computer is going to run it. That was just for us. Let's go ahead and copy everything again and throw it back into here. And what we can do now is just go ahead and run before we submit to make sure it works correctly. It'll do a test case with it and we can see um, it inputted welcome to 30 days of code and then the output was as expected. So it matches up with the expected output. Pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and submit it. And I'll run through some test cases. And we can see, congratulations, you solved this challenge. So congrats, we started our first C Sharp program. If this is your first C Sharp program, congrats, you wrote your first program. Um, pretty neat. So if you have any questions, also, feel free to uh, throw them in the description. I'll try to answer them as best as possible if I know how to answer them. And I will see you guys in the next couple of videos. I'm sure um, I'll make content pretty often on this channel. I, at least I hope to. Uh, I think it'll be really fun nonetheless. So I hope you guys found this very interesting and useful. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy 
you know this kind of content don't forget to subscribe I know it just started but I hope to really you know roll out the content so uh, keep your eye on that thanks for watching guys my first video I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one